What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with the Xbox Game Pass Super Saver Sale. There's some good deals I want to show you guys. This is a separate sale from the weekly sales and it's going on to the end of the month. So let's get into it. The first game is Albacete Warrior, which is a beat-em-up from East Asia Soft that not a lot of people bought. It's an easy completion that only takes a few hours, but it's normally $10 and it's on sale for $4. The next game is Arcade Spirits, which is an easy visual novel that only takes a few hours to complete, and it's normally $20 on sale for $5. The next game is Beholder 2, which is a really awesome simulation management game. I really like the Beholder series. There's three different games, but this game is normally $15, and it's on sale for $1.49. That's a great sale, and this is a great game. The next game is Chicken Police Painted Red, which is an easy point-and-click adventure game that only takes a few hours to complete, and it's normally $20 on sale for $7. The next game is Clocker, which is a puzzle adventure game that's an easy completion and only takes a few hours, and it's only $13 on sale for $1.29. The next game is Cloudpunk, which is a really awesome exploration adventure game, and it has two versions. There's an Xbox One version and an Xbox Series version, and they're both on sale, normally $25 on sale for $3.74. The next game is Cluedo, which is Clue on Xbox, which is really cool. It's normally expensive, but you can get the deluxe version, which comes with DLC that has achievements, and it's normally $36 on sale for $14.39. The next game is Crybaby's Magic Tears, which is a really easy completion. It only takes an hour or two, and it's normally $35 on sale for $14. The next game is Dad's Monster's House, which is a point-and-click adventure that's an easy completion. It takes an hour or two, and it's normally $7 on sale for $3. The next game is Dying Reborn, which is an easy puzzle adventure game that only takes about an hour or two to complete, and it's normally $20 on sale for $2. The next game is Fresh Start, which is a really fun game. It's kind of a mix between Island Saver and Power Wash Sim. You go around and clean up islands. It's a really fun and easy completion, and it's normally $20 on sale for $9. The next game is Get Packed, which is a really fun game that's like moving out. It has four-player online co-op, and it's not too hard of a completion, and it's normally $20 on sale for $5. The next game is Henchman Story, which is an easy visual novel. It takes like 25 minutes to complete, and I have a walkthrough for it, and it's normally $15 on sale for $5.24. The next game is Macrotus, A Mother's Journey, which is an easy puzzle platformer. It takes a few hours to complete, and it's normally $12 on sale for $3. The next game is Neighbors Back from Hell, which is an easy puzzle game. It takes like 5 hours or so, but it's normally $15 on sale for $4.49. The next game is Nightbook, which is an easy visual novel. It takes like 3-4 to four hours, and I have a walkthrough for it, and it's normally $13 on sale for $6.49. The next game is Rico, which is a fun first-person shooter roguelike game that has online co-op with two players, and it's not too hard of a completion, and it's normally $20 on sale for $5. The next game is The Infectious Madness of Dr. Deeker. This is one of those live-action movie visual novel games, and it's an easy completion, and it's normally $13 on sale for $5.84. The next game is The Plane Effect, which is an easy puzzle adventure game that takes like 3-4 to four hours of the walkthrough, and it's only $15 on sale for $6. The next game is The Shape Shifting Detective, which is another live action movie visual novel game that's an easy completion, and it's also normally $13 on sale for $5.84. The next game is The Sorrowverse, which is a first person puzzle adventure game that's an easy completion with a walkthrough, it takes like 3-4 to four hours, and it's only $15 on sale for $4.49. The next game is Time Carnage, which is a pretty fun first-person shooter survival game. You fight waves of enemies. It's a little challenging, but it's a good sale. It's normally $12.49 on sale for $5. The next game is Wave Tail, which is a really great game. This game should have came to Game Pass, but it never did, and not a lot of people bought it because it's a little expensive, but it's a really awesome game, and it's an easy completion. It's very straightforward, and it's only $30 on sale for $13.49. And then the last game is Who Press Mute on Uncle Marcus, which is another live-action movie visual novel that's an easy completion, and it's only $14 on sale for $6.49. So there we go, guys. There's some good sales from the Xbox Game Pass Super Saver Sale. I hope this video helped you. Leave a like if it did, and I'll catch you next time here at Achievement Land. <laughs>